Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by Stephen Trout, who is, of course, the head baseball coach at North at um, Texas State. And remember that for a second. We're talking about <laughs> How's it going? It's going great, man. Just getting ready. Obviously, we're a week away, so just uh, got, got some scrimmage, a scrimmage tonight under the lights to kind of get used to it. Um, and then one more week of preparation before uh, Utah Valley comes to town. So getting excited. So talk about what, um, how has practice gone for you guys this week, and just uh, and just really throughout the the course of the fall, and then in the in the, these next few weeks before you guys start games next week. Yeah, it's going good. You know, we we've got a it's been a new year for us. We we have 18 new guys in our program with 15 freshmen, three transfers, so um, a big mix of new guys, old guys. So trying to get those guys involved in, in understanding our lingo and how we do things. Uh, but it's been great. You know, biggest thing for me was those guys understanding our culture and how we go about our business every single day. And those guys have had bought in from day one. And I think part of that was um, our older guys taking those guys under their wings and teaching and helping and, uh, you know, making sure they know how we do things here at Texas State. And so uh, from a practice standpoint, had a couple of arms down in the fall, just just precautionary, just to make sure they were ready for the spring. Some guys that threw a lot last year and over the summer. Uh, but Really excited. You know, the one thing that I've stood out on, my, uh, on the team so far is is how good we play defense. And so uh, we can really pick up the baseball and play catch and uh, which is going to keep you in a lot of ball games. And so really excited about our pitching staff. We have a lot of talent, uh, just a lot of unproven guys. And so trying to figure figure out that rotation as fast as we can uh, while winning games will be the key. And then um, got some some veteran guys on offense that could be really talented along with that freshman group. And so it's a it's a good mix. So been excited. Got one more week to go. So biggest thing is getting this, the pitch counts up and uh, staying healthy for next Friday. All right. Kind of take me around the diamond. Tell everybody, tell everyone who's going to be, uh, who's going to be where this year. <laughs> well, obviously still battling for it. Um, you know, if you, uh, if you start at, we'll start at third base, JT Thompson's a returner. He's been, been our third baseman uh, the last few years uh, can really, really play defense and, and led our team in hitting last year. Uh, Dalton Chuffield, who, in my opinion, is the best shortstop in the country. Um, how the guy didn't win the Golden Glove last year, I have no idea. Made, made one error the entire season. So um, he's, a, he's made nine in his career. So that's a, uh, a plus defender. So it's not going to get any better out there. A um, couple of guys battling for second and, and uh, could also mix over third. But Cameron Gibbons is a, a, uh, a senior that's here as well. Also have a guy named Cade Manning and Ryan Leary that are two guys also battling uh, for those spots. And then at first base, got a couple guys. Depends on how we play it out. Um, Jose Gonzalez, uh, Wesley Faison, and then one of our talented freshmen, Dalen Pena, are all kind of battling for that first base DH. They can also go to left field as well. Um, in the outfield, you got Ben McLean out there in the outfield. Um, Isaiah Ortega Jones, usually in center field, and John Weprich in right field. And then two really talented freshmen, probably uh, mixing in that can really run. Damian Whitfield from Mount Atlanta, and then uh, Kyle Atkinson. So. Um, and then behind the plate, we have a guy named Peyton Lewis that uh, we, both of our catchers last year were seniors. Peely was kind of our, our role guy and fit in left-handed hitter. Um, and then uh, we have Chris Bernal who's, who's behind him and then August Ramirez as well. And so a lot of, a lot of, a lot of guys out there still battling for it. And so I feel like we have good depth, um, just some kind of some unproven depth and then guys that need to have uh, big years this year. So talk about where the conference, where you think your conference is at this year. Man, it, it is super talented. Um, and so it, it's, it's getting even better next year when, um, or in the next couple of years when all the new schools come in. But the one thing about our league is it doesn't matter who you play on what weekend and where you're playing. If you don't play well, you're going to get beat. And that's the one thing I love about our conference is there's no, there's no off weekends. And so um, if you catch a team at the right time, you got a chance to get swept in a heartbeat. And so you better bring it every single weekend. And so, um, it is it is really talented. You're going to get good arms. You're going to get good back end guys. And there's always a couple of big time hitters in there that you got to uh, find a way to battle through. And so um, it, it's a really talented league. And I'm excited to, to go up against it again. All right. Um, and, and, the, and the last thing really is kind of like what 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 do you think you guys really need to do to get to where you really want to go uh, in the Sun Belt? Yeah, I mean, for us, I think number one is, you know, coming off a, a bad year last year, we've we've approached a lot of um, how to handle adversity better and how to handle uh, failure better and how to handle injuries better. And so for us, it's been more on the mental game of trying to become mentally tougher and trying to, trying to be able to, to handle those times. It's going to happen. We're going to lose a game. 
Um, I'd love to go 56 and 0, but I don't think it's ever happened, but I, I'm all in for it. But, mm -hmm. you know, when we lose a game, when we walk a guy, um, you know, we have an injury, whatever it might be, how do we respond to it and how do we handle it? And so we've worked really hard this, this whole season on the mental game with our guys. And so uh, that's going to be number one. Uh, the second piece, like kind of like I talked about, the quicker we can figure out this pitching staff and the rotation while winning baseball games, uh, we, we've got a chance. And so uh, these guys are hungry. These guys are motivated coming off a bad year last year. And so they want to uh, they want to get this thing going and, and uh, you know, go get back to winning a Sunbelt championship and get back to regional. And so um, it's been, I think, 11 years since we've been in the postseason. And uh, that's definitely something we're eyeing every single day. Well, Coach, thank you so much for coming on and checking with us, and uh, good luck this season. Let's have you on again sometime. All right, Casey. Appreciate you. Thanks.